tomorrow's event. Reese Ehrenstein and Liz Harrison Murphy, also known as former student body president and captain of the cheerleading squad. Welcome. Thank, thank you. you so much, Ginger. Uh, so thank you for you know not letting go of some former grads, some Chula Vista natives. Give me the story of these folks who lost their home. Well, essentially, I received, um, thanks to the, the marvels of social media, I received a, a, an instant message, message from a friend who said that one of our classmates lost his home. So immediately, I contacted Liz, and we just sort of got that into action. Then it sort of, then we heard about another student, and then another student. And so we said, okay, we've really got to do something. So we formed a committee, started our GoFundMe page, and now we have our event tomorrow to, to raise even more funds for, for the students that have been affected, our, our classmates. So you guys actually attended school at the same time with one or possibly two of these? All three of them. All three of them yes. were a part of your class. Yeah, it's sort of not ironic, but strange how three students from Chula Vista are actually were up in paradise when this all happened. So it, for such a small town that three of our residents, three of our classmates were affected by this. Okay, so we know they lost their homes yes. but how about family members is everybody safe as far as their family goes uh, pretty much uh, all three of them and their families got out safely um, one family unfortunately lost their pet dog mm -hmm. they tried to go back to save him but the the roads were already blocked so they were unable to save him, unfortunately. You know, you see all the footage that's on TV. You saw the devastation. And then to know it hit close to home. Mm -hmm. It was one of your classmates. Right. I mean, did, did it just give you a more personal connection? You, you hit it right on the head. That's when I knew, like, I, I was heartbroken for all the families mm. and all the pets that were that were being affected by this. But then when I heard it was one of our own, one of our Chula Vista residents, then it became personal. That's when I knew we had to jump into action. So. I really applaud you for sticking together and not just uh, saying, oh, that's too bad, but instead you're, you're getting awareness and you're trying to help them. Tell me about the event tomorrow. Well, it's happening tomorrow night at Diamond Gyms in Chula Vista. Okay. It starts at 4 o'clock and will last until 10 o'clock. And we're going to have food, um, drinks, of course, <laughs> live music, and lots of dancing. We're going to play lots of 80s music. So, Oh, can I be... go? Wait, right, wait where right. is this at? <laughs> I am all, I'm all in, babe, all in. We're, we're almost thinking of it as a high school union, but, with, but without the pressure. Okay, yeah. without the pressure. Yeah. Exactly. So everybody is invited or just Chula Vista? Everybody's high? invited. It's being hosted from four to six by um, uh, Chula Vista's own uh, Little Tommy Sablon will be there. We uh, know Little uh, Tommy. You know Little Tommy, exactly. Yeah, I think he's like the unofficial mayor of Chula Vista. Absolutely. You know, which is just awesome. And yeah, when this happened, I knew I had to reach out to him. Like, yeah, I thought he'd be the perfect uh, guest host for our event, so we're excited mm -hmm. to have him. Okay, so somebody can't attend the event but they still want to give what can they do we've set up a gofundme account okay. at uh, chula vista paradise fire relief you can go straight to gofundme and, and uh, log um, log on with that name chula vista um paradise fire relief and they can go ahead and donate that way where are the families now did they come back to chula vista most of them are staying with friends in the chico area okay um, but two of them actually will be down for the event, which is really exciting. Yeah. That's great. I mean, yeah. when you tell them that the community is getting behind them, right. what kind of an impact um, does that have they, on them? They have been so appreciative and over overwhelmed. But I just wanted to mention that $25 is the donation. Okay. And with that $25, you receive appetizers, dinner, a drink, and, of course, the free entertainment. We're also having a silent auction with amazing yes, items. Got some great gifts. Yes. Perfect. This is great for timing with Christmas. Great for helping out our, uh, our community members who have lost their homes. So thanks yes. so much. Okay. Tomorrow at the event, why don't you post some pictures and tag us so we can see how everything Absolutely. is going. Absolutely. As okay. if I need to tell Tommy to get on social media, right? right? <laughs> he is all over it. He is all over it. All right. Well, thanks so much for uh, standing behind our community. Thank Appreciate you, Ginger. It. Thank you.